Icon instrumentation provided within the comprehensive surgical kit is organized in rows depending upon size and function. Instrumentation may be stored and autoclaved in the tray at temperatures less than 150 degrees Celsius or 302 degrees Fahrenheit. The threaded straight handles may be used with all male threaded components, including seating tips, osteotomes, hand reamers, and sulcus reamers. The threaded offset handle is effective where direct access is difficult. The threaded knob may be used with all male threaded components as an alternative to the threaded handles. The surgical mallet is used in conjunction with the threaded handles and osteotomes. The silicone dappen dish facilitates the collection of harvested bone and the mixing of graft material. The depth gauge facilitates the measuring of an osteotomy's depth. It has markings at 6, 8, 11, and 14 millimeters, with a gold tip below the 6 millimeter mark. The bone plugger with a central hole to accommodate the cut black healing plug is used to pack harvested bone shavings over the shoulder of the implant. The abutment preparation holder is also the handle for the depth gauge and bone depth plugger. The abutment preparation holder is used to securely hold abutments while they are being modified. One end has a 3 mm bore to hold abutments with a 3 mm diameter post. Depth gauge, bone depth plugger, and the 2.5 mm abutment post converter. The opposite end has a 2 mm bore for 2 mm abutment posts. Alternatively, there are abutment preparation holders with a 3 mm bore on one end and a threaded bore on its other end to receive 2 mm and 2.5 mm abutment threaded adapters and bone plugger. Placing the abutment shoulder gauge into the well of an implant facilitates the measurement of the soft tissue height above the implant relative to the shoulder height of a stealth shouldered abutment. The healing plug cutter is used to cut the post of the black healing plug that is packaged with each Bicon implant. Manual and latch type healing plug removal instruments facilitate the removal of the black healing plug from the well of an implant by pressing their sharp point into the plug prior to rotating and pulling. The 18 to 1 handpiece with an e-coupling attachment is used with a 2 mm pilot drill for preparation of the initial osteotomy at 1100 RPM with external irrigation. The 400 to 1 handpiece with an e-coupling attachment 
is used with bicon latch reamers for widening the osteotomy at a maximum of 50 RPM without irrigation. The 20 to 1 universal handpiece with an e-coupling attachment is used with both the 2mm pilot drill and with Bicon latch reamers. It must be used with the appropriate surgical motor. The 2mm pilot drill is a twist drill with a sharp point. It is used with an 18 to 1 or 20 to 1 handpiece at 1100 RPM with external irrigation and should be replaced after approximately 15 osteotomy preparations. The pilot drill has band markings at 6 and 8 millimeters and 11 and 14 millimeters and is available in two lengths, standard and extended. The latch reamers are made from surgical grade titanium alloy and are used to widen an osteotomy to match the diameter of the intended implant. The latch reamers are designed to attach to the 400 to 1 or the 20 to 1 handpieces and rotate at a maximum of 50 RPM. The slow speed drilling allows for the harvesting of bone, which subsequently can be placed over the shoulder of the implant. These reamers can be used effectively for over 200 surgeries. Starting at 2.5 millimeter and increasing in half millimeter increments up to six millimeters, each titanium reamer is color-coded according to its diameter. Bicon's latch reamers are designed to cut only at their apical third utilizing their tapered tip to only widen an osteotomy without increasing its depth. Also, the shape of the reamer guides it down the walls of the osteotomy, making it difficult to change its direction or angulation once cutting has been initiated. The reamers have band markings at 6, 8, 11, and 14 millimeters to facilitate achieving a proper osteotomy depth while expanding the width of the osteotomy. The latch extension provides clinical flexibility by extending the length of the latch reamers. Hand reamers are designed to attach to the threaded straight handle and the threaded knob and are used to widen an osteotomy in softer bone when greater control is desired. Unlike the latch reamer, the hand reamer has only one cutting surface. Therefore, it may be rotated 180 degrees for the controlled removal of only palatal bone while expanding the facial bone. With apical pressure, it may be used to increase the depth of an osteotomy. It can be fastened to a hand reamer extension and used with a latch type handpiece. However, it must not be used in excess of 15 RPM since its cylindrical shape can generate a significant amount of heat at speeds greater than 15 RPM. The flat wrench facilitates the unfastening of threaded components from the threaded handles or knob. The osteotomes, available in diameters from 3.5 millimeters to 6 millimeters, attached to a threaded handle, are used in conjunction with a mallet to infracture an osteotomy's floor during an internal sinus lift procedure.
paralleling pins with post diameters of 2 millimeters and 2.5 millimeters are used to assess the angulation and position of an osteotomy. Their use can facilitate the parallel alignment of subsequent pilot osteotomies. Their use facilitates the modification of an osteotomy's angulation at a narrow diameter prior to widening beyond 2.5 millimeters. Paralleling pins are available in 0, 15, and 25 degrees. The color-coded red, 2 millimeter, blue, 2.5 millimeter, and green, 3 millimeter implant inserter retrievers facilitate the placement or removal of an implant by holding the implant with friction, similar to an abutment post. Inserter retrievers can be attached to threaded handles, threaded knobs, or used independently. Once the implant has been placed into the osteotomy, the implant is disengaged from the instrument by turning the knurled barrel with the sliding sleeve counterclockwise while the threaded handle or knob is held stationary. The color-coded red 2 mm, blue 2.5 mm, and green 3 mm implant seating tips are fastened to the threaded handle and fit loosely into the well of an implant to facilitate the seating of the implant to its appropriate depth, either with or without gentle taps from a mallet. The 2 mm implant seating tip also facilitates the seating of angled abutments with an indent in the long axis of the implant. The 4 mm, 6.5 mm abutment seating tips and the horseshoe-shaped crown seating tip fastened to a threaded driver and are used alone or in conjunction with a thermoplastic material to facilitate the seating of abutments or integrated abutment crowns in the long axis of the implant. Guide pins are color-coded, red 2 mm, blue 2.5 mm and green 3 mm and are placed into the well of an implant to assess the implant's osseointegration and trajectory. Guide pins are also used in conjunction with sulcus reamers to remove any tissue over an implant that may prevent the proper seating of an abutment. Color-coded sulcus streamers corresponding to the 3.5, 4.0, 5.0, 6.5, and 7.5 mm diameters of non-shouldered abutments facilitate the removal of tissue from over the top of an integrated implant. Threaded sulcus streamers are attached to a threaded handle or knob and are used by rotating on a seated guide pin to remove excess tissue that may be preventing the appropriate seating of an abutment.